Okay, so I thought I would show you all my Commodore 64 with its new 1541 Ultimate 2 cartridge plugged in, courtesy of Gideon. Very clever man. So he's built this cartridge that allows you to plug in a micro SD card. Let's just turn it over. There it is. And that one is 8 gigabytes. It's got around about 30,000 Commodore 64 games and demos. All my discs are on there, all my tape games are on there. And you just literally slide that in to the cartridge. There we go, so that's in. Uh, also plugged into the cartridge is the serial cable, which goes around, there it is, and it goes into the disk drive port. Um, we've also got three buttons on there. So that's the reset switch, and I've actually got the action replay cartridge installed, so that resets to the action replay cartridge. That's the menu button that takes you to the SD card, oops, SD card, and also the USB card, which I'll show you in a sec. And then we got the freeze button, which takes you into whichever cartri cartridge you've got um, installed. And I've got the action replay cartridge, so that's the freeze button for the action replay cartridge, and that's the reset button and that takes you into the menu for the actual cartridge. But I've also got plugged in a USB extension cable which goes all the way around here and ends up there. And I've got a USB stick plugged into it. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is take the USB stick and I'm gonna plug it to start with into my PC. And we open the files. So that's the uh, USB stick and it's just got a standard kind of Windows folders on it so I've got a file with a load of SIDs on and some commercial stuff and some new stuff so I'm going to open the new folder and there's all some new stuff on there that I've downloaded recently and I'm going to go to um, the internet and I'm going to go to the Commodore Scene database and I'm going to download the new latest release that's on there which is this Tinkercon 2010 party scroller which I haven't seen yet it's a, a Commodore 64 intro so I'm going to click on that bring me up to its page that's what it looks like and down here should be the download for it and it's a PRG file so I'll literally click on that and I'm going to save it and I'm going to put it directly into the USB stick and I'm going to put it in the new folder, so click save. So that file there has now gone onto that USB stick. Um, so if we go down here now, take the USB stick out. Just going to put the camera down for a second, plug it back in. So there's the USB stick plugged into the Ultimate 2 cartridge. I'm going to switch my Commodore 64 on. There's the action replay um, startup screen, and I'm just going to press F7. You're probably getting some flicker there, but that's nothing to do with the uh, with the cartridge. That's just the way things are in life. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to press the middle button to fire up the the SD menu and also the USB menu. And here they are. So straight away you can see the SD card. I'll just put it into channel. There we go. So we've got the SD card showing. And we've also got the flash memory stick showing. And the SD card's highlighted. I can use the cursor keys or the joysticks. I'm going to use the joystick and go to the USB. And if we go into the folder. So here there is the folders. So there's the new folder. And then we're going to find that file that I've just downloaded which was called Tinker Con 2010, there it is. And if I now press enter, a little menu over there says run or load, I'm gonna run it. If we wait for a second, the cartridge will fire it up. There it is.
So we've literally just taken that, put the volume down, we've literally just taken that file straight off the internet and it plays straight onto the Commodore 64 via the wonderful 1541 Ultimate 2 cartridge. So that file from the internet has gone onto the Commodore 64. So that's from the USB stick. Turn this sound off in fact. Let me go back to the menu by pressing the menu button. So we're back to the menu, so there's everything else I can go through in the menu. If I go back, I'm going to go to the SD card. So there's the SD card, we'll go back up to it. And I've got the whole of the binary zone uh, PD discs from CD, which I had. I've got all my favourite games, we go to that. Is the list of all my favourite Commodore 64 games I can page down. Um, it's just tons and tons of games that I love to play. And one of my favourite. Oh yeah, the, the the other trick you can do is um, if I page up. So if we, when you come to the menu, oh, sorry, when you come to the list, if you're looking for a specific game, so I want Monty on the run. If I start to type Monty. It's gone straight to Monty on the run. And then I can just open that and run it. Let's just wait for a second while it mounts it and then runs it. And any second now, we should get the intro. There we go. Actually, that's gone straight to the cheat screen. Um, but I think if I press enter. There we go, Monty on the run. If I'm bored of Monty on the run, just press the middle button, go and find another game I want to play. There's a T64 file. Let's run the T64 file. There we go, straight away it runs. And it's probably going to go into a trainer or into an intro before it plays the game. By the way, there's a ZX Spectrum. Ah, what's that doing there? So that's just uh, unpacking or uncrunching. Oh, there's me in the screen. Hello. So here's it's the version by Remember. Press the space bar. It's my vest, you can see. Um, okay, it's last V8. So that's it, that's how quick it is at loading really is that quick. Go to another game. Good thing about it is like me if you get really really bored very quickly as I do you can just go and pick one of your other favorite games. I was playing this one last night. So these these games I'm loading now are simply from the SD card. So this is Pitfall 2 is from the SD card, straight off the SD card. Kind of, uh, I've, I've taken the whole of the game base um, 64, I think it's version 7 at the moment, um, and there's about 20, supposedly 22,000 games, and I've used the, the uh, game base reorganizer, which you can find off the internet, and it literally takes all the files out of game base, all the zipped games, and places them in specific folders that you can just literally drop on your SD card. Which is what this is what I've done here. Uh, there you go. There's Pitfall 2. It is so easy to use. It really is just. Oh, the other thing. Here's another thing. We go back and go to SIDS. Uh, there's a load of SIDS there, but if I go to the USB card, I've got another folder called SIDS and Commodore 64 Music. And if I scroll down to Musicians. And press J, and enter there, and press and type Jammer. Oh, there it is. Enter. Um, try and think what the there it is. So you literally just play. It says you got a little menu there. Play main tune. Select sub tune. There it is. Got a built-in SID player. <laughs> 